Hello, this is Frederick with Mosaic Blues. Today we are going to take a color picture here, posterize it to create the model that will allow us to later on build this mosaic. And in order to do this, I'm using GIMP, which is uh, a graphic program which has the same capabilities as uh, other software like Photoshop but GIMP is open source and it's free and it works on all platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux. So here we are, our original uh, picture and the first things we are going to do is turn it to black and white, it's called desaturate. So we are going to the color menu here and we scroll down to desaturate. Now here in the desaturate windows we have three options, lightness, luminosity, average. <coughs> and I tend to like the average, but this is for you to decide what we want to do. So now here we have our picture in black and white. So the second thing we are going to do is adjust the size of this picture because uh, when we create a grayscale model, uh, we don't really need too much resolution. It can be a problem. Uh, mosaic is not a high resolution art form and uh, we need to reduce the size of, of our picture. We need to reduce the resolution. So GIMP does that very easily. We are going to the uh, image menu here and we go to scale image and so here we have the window with image, si image size and we are going to change the width and I'm going to go to a 60 pixel image so I click here on scale and GIMP has adjusted the eighth of the so here we have a pretty small image. Now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to make it bigger. But we are going to cheat a little bit. So we are going back to image and scale image. But before we increase the size, we are coming here to this last box. And we make sure we have in that box we have different options we have linear cubic sync none and we make sure that none is checked and now we are going back here and we're going to increase the size of our image to its original size which was 480 pixels and we click on scale and lo and behold here is our image it is the same size as the original image but you can see it's much more blurry which is exactly what we want to create our mosaic so the next stage is we are going to actually posterize our image so we go to the color menu here we scroll down here to posterize and as soon as we click there we go, we have a posterized image. You can sort of guess what this is all about. And we are going to adjust the posterization level. So you can see here in this box here, you can play. You can go all the way down to two. You cannot have less than two levels. Two is two colors. So you have black and white. Then three, you have one level of gray. Four, you have two level of grays plus two plus black and white that's four five you have three different level of grays and so you will adjust the posterization level based on how many colors you have here i will use three different level of grays so three grays plus black and white is five so i adjust here to five and i click ok and so here is my posterized image that I can use as a model for my mosaic. So we have our grayscale model with three levels of gray. We can go from black to 
dark gray, a little bit lighter gray, lighter gray, and white. We have five different colors. And this is what we're going to use to build our models. You can go to Opus Pixelatum. You can go to, you just can directly use this model right now to create your mosaic. Uh, what you do is you save this picture and you take it to your printer, have it printed and laminated to the size you want, and you begin building your mosaic in your studio. So on my next video, video, I'll show you how to draw the boundaries between the areas of different colors. Uh, in some cases, it makes your model much easier to work from. And so this is Frederick with Mosaic Blues. If you like this video, please share it uh, with all your friends and all your mosaicist friends. And uh, you can also subscribe to my uh, uh, Mosaic Blues uh, YouTube channel where you have lots of videos there tutorial about mosaics and you can also of course uh, always visit my website at mosaicblues.com have fun with your mosaics <laughs>